Hello beautiful people, my name is Elsa. Welcome to my channel, Elsa Loves. Uh, today, I want to talk about essentially why vlog number two was a big fail. So I vlogged the most footage and kept up with it all day, the following day after I got the battery. I made sure to get things that I knew would kind of transition well after each video, right? So as I'm editing, um, I finish the video. I do a ton of edits. I was really, really proud of this one video. It took maybe two hours. So then I go to save it. As I'm saving it, it's like I need more storage. So I'm like, okay, let me get rid of some things. Um, as I'm getting rid of things, I accidentally deleted the video. The videos that I had been recording. <sighs> Woo! Um, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, humble myself, take the L, and keep walking. There's nothing I can do uh, but fill you in. And that was the goal of everything. It didn't have to be super fancy or edited or whatever. So I'm just gonna tell you what happened. We went to Firestone, got the battery, came back. I put the battery in, which I was super proud of because let's be real, um, I've been, I know like surface level things about cars, but in terms of actually doing work, I had never done anything like that. Like physically take a part out of a car. So when I did that, I was super stoked. Um, my fiance was like smiling, things were, you know, the car was on. Full battery I then drive my car to follow her so we can drop it off at the shop at Firestone so as we're going she weighs me back down and there's a big clink in the car so as that happens I stop and I'm like oh shoot something is about to happen so when <laughs> So as we look at it, we discover that something's happening, something funky is happening with the passenger rear uh, tire. So it looked like it was being warped or it just looked really different. Like as she was driving, it was forcing her to stop. So um, all of a sudden, and we live on a pretty quiet street. Um, all of a sudden, all of these, like a whole family of neighbors came out and their neighbor. Um, it was so funny because people were trying to support while social distancing so it looked so cool because this one dude came out and he was like hey I think I know what's happening it's something with your calibers they tend to freeze up and they expand if you let it sit out for a while and then his grandpa came out then his primo came out and I'm like you know what it is what it is at this point so we're just having a good old time you know messing around with the car um, he ended up being able to warm it up enough that it was drivable. It was driving and it wasn't doing that stopping feeling, like the abrupt stop. So he was like, hey, I think you can drive it. And then, but I was so scared to drive it because it had stopped mid street, like we could not move it. So I didn't want anything like that to happen. So what we did instead is um, Chrissy, my fiance has um, roadside assistance so with her roadside assistance we just called the tow and we called the tow a, a little while ago but we were all doing this while this was happening um, and the tow truck came it was a flatbed so it took the entire thing up and he was like are you sure you want to take this tow it seems okay I was like no bro like no take the car we'll meet you there <laughs> and so we took the car they did you know they checked her over and see you know what it needed to be done we were told what needs to be done the shoes broke um, essentially from being like I guess the e-brake being on for that long pretty long time um, the routers need we needed new routers rotors I think they're called and a cleanup and I thought it was gonna be a lot worse because she had been sitting out there and a backstory for y'all this car means a lot to Chrissy this is her first baby she went to UNC Chapel Hill and 
um, I believe she bought this her senior year at Chapel Hill and she you know it's just been with her through a lot through her transition her moves and you know transition into adulthood um, so it it means a lot to her to be able to keep up with the car as well so I I feel for her I don't have an attachment to a car like that but I can only imagine and so we wanted to make sure that we could do this but the main thing I want you to take away from this is that I changed the battery in a car I'm so proud of myself that footage was like gold but it is what it is I did get the thumbnail of like the car being lifted on the flatbed so you'll see that part um, but I guess it was just something for Chrissy and I to live through and not for everyone else which is okay uh, today we are going to pick up the car I'm a teacher so I'm gonna teach math in like 20 minutes so I am going to teach math we're gonna go for a walk I'm trying to do a da daily walks and then I will update y'all when we get to Firestone okay so we made it to Firestone um, Chrissy's car is pretty good to go I'm excited about it we're about to drive it for the first time well I'm gonna drive my car home she's gonna drive her car and then we're gonna take a little spin in her car but we still have some work to do so it's gonna be a shortened spin we're planning on doing a little more driving tomorrow with her so I'm really really excited I can't wait until I see her come out of the shop with her keys and just plan to drive her this is gonna be a big moment for her okay so um, things did not turn out the way we wanted them to the car is still not a hundred percent there's some noises we're not thrilled with so essentially what we did is we left it there um, and told them to check it again um, we will get Issa up to date like comment and subscribe see you next time